What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, so we told you in the last video that we were headed out and we had our fingers crossed we get to see some wildlife at this next spot. Um, the spot that we're at is Cataloochee Valley on the southern side of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Yeah. Um, we had to, you know, we, we told you guys we had to bail out from up around Seaverville, Gatlinburg, way too many people. We found David Crockett Birthplace State Park for a few days, super awesome little park. And now we're down here uh, staying at Pride RV Resort. Um, you know, not typically where we like to stay when we come to places like this, but it was in the right location, um, not insanely expensive. Um, so we're looking forward to making this drive over to Catalucci Valley. We are really, really hoping that we get a chance to see some elk over here um, originally our plan was to head out to Colorado try to see the elk rut out there this year but with all the wildfires and uncertainty out that way uh, we decided to cancel that that's why we went ahead and stayed over on the eastern side of the US and uh, the timing has worked out that we've kind of went up and made our loop and we're headed back down through this area hopefully at the right time to catch some big elk uh, and we're Really looking forward to it. We're only going to be here for a couple days. Yep. So hopefully the weather's good for us. And we can take advantage of it and see some uh, see some awesome wildlife over here in Catalucci Valley. Been climbing up and up and up and up and we get to the gravel road that leads into the uh, entrance so pretty pretty neat drive on the way up the side of this mountain I mean this is uh, your stereotypical mountain road for sure no guardrails it's two-way two-way traffic so you got to keep a heads up for people coming back your back towards you but uh yeah this is your definitely your stereotypical mountain road for sure wow what a beautiful drive with all the fall colors yeah very bumpy though with this gravel road This is not a spot where you're just gonna swing by for a few minutes and check it out on the way through. Um, it is a good long ways down here to get back to the valley entrance road. There's a good amount of traffic coming out. So there's a lot of pulling over and stopping and letting oncoming traffic pass and uh, just trying to navigate our way down through here. Not a ton of traffic going in the way we're going, but there's a good amount coming out. made it through that section back on a two-lane road according to the sign we just passed we got three miles and we'll be there yeah all right so we made it down here to it um it was about 12 miles from pride rv resort to get to where we're at now it took us uh man just over a half hour about 35 minutes to get here <laughs> to go 12 miles and uh right away right away as soon as we come in we got elk out here on the right side of the road. Holy what? cow, they have a big bull out there. Okay. Look at this, dude. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, man, we come out here. And there he is. Right at the entrance. What a beautiful, beautiful animal right there. Oh, we have some more elk Man, oh man, too. we got some more up here. We're going to carry on down the road. I think there's all cows up there. 
whole bunch of cows. You know, it's amazing. We go down to Cage Cove and you got just thousands of people cramming into Cage Cove. And uh, we come out here to Catalucci Valley, man, and just right away, you get to see such a beautiful, beautiful animal. We saw a couple of big ones when we were out in Yellowstone, but they were all, their antlers were in velvet. This guy is uh, full grown. He's ready to go. Yeah, these are all cows. Ooh, look, look, mama, young, a baby elk. See it? Look, mm. right behind it. See it? Yeah. No, oh, I always, I, I wanted to see a baby elk, and I got my one. And we come just down the road a little further, and there's a giant elk laying out here in the field. Wow. So many elk. So we came down the road just a little way from those from those um, cows. Man, That's what a beautiful, beautiful animal. He's even bigger than that first one back there. Yeah. And the amazing part is we're here. And right now there's probably only about seven cars right here in this area. Easily pull right off the road and just see these beautiful animals right here in the field. So many elk, it's awesome. Wow, a few more elk up there. Right over by that big one. It's so cool. Like he's fixing maybe come out in the way. Cause we got some over here too on this side. Yeah. Oh. Cause they got all. Yeah. All right. So man, what a phenomenal trip we had yesterday coming over here to Catalucci Valley in the evening time. Um, wasn't extremely packed out with people. We got some beautiful, beautiful footage of some elk. And we really, we only have a couple days, so we wanted to see it in the morning as well. Um, we are definitely not the first people here this morning, yes. even though it's only uh, 7.45. But we're excited to come over here and see this place in the morning. And uh, looks like as soon as we pull over here by the field, we have some beautiful elk out here. Oh, again, but field. Out in the field. Whoa, that's so many. Beautiful big bull elk out here, man. What a beautiful, beautiful animal. Awesome, beautiful morning out here in Catalucci Valley. Uh, we come down to the very end 
of the road and uh, park got out there's an awesome field back here beautiful field that I'm sure is probably full of elk at certain points I've got some turkey out there right now but uh, we're just gonna kind of walk around here man it's a lot of work quite a drive to get back to this place but that's probably what makes it so good um, because even though there are quite a few people down here it's not it's not extremely packed um, you know ridiculously packed where you can't enjoy it kind of which is kind of what we ran into at some of the other places that we've been yeah um, but yeah very very cool we're thinking about the milk done they're cool yeah big one some big yeah. ones out there isn't there definitely big so we're gonna take a little walk around here and uh stretch our legs here on this beautiful beautiful morning that we were staying over at pride rv resort uh, it's packed out but you know even though it's super busy it was really quiet there last night as far as the campground goes it is right off the highway so there was quite a bit of road noise uh, but yeah, you know i say literally backs up to the highway considering your other options when you're in this area this time of year which are almost zero um it's you know it was good we drove past uh, stonebridge rv resort also over in maggie valley and it was wall-to-wall -wall, you know rvs everywhere so uh, yep. i feel like you know i feel like we uh, were fortunate to get a spot there we're very fortunate to be out here checking out these elk so we're going to continue our walk wow this is awesome <laughs> Walk around the trail a little ways. We've got a log, log bridge you can cross to get to the other side if you want to go hike on that side. And it is not very wide. Very cool. All right, so we decided to come out this afternoon, take a drive up Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, we've been seeing pictures from up here and everybody talking about how beautiful it is. And uh, man, they were not kidding. The side of the mountains are just absolutely lit up with the reds and oranges and greens. And just a beautiful, beautiful sight up here. Thinking about doing a hike, but trailheads are extremely busy, and we got some rain coming, so we decided to pass on the hike and just uh, take a ride and enjoy the scenery. So we just come out and we're taking the section of Blue. Blue Ridge Parkway that uh, you get on right just past Waynesville and then you can take the parkway up and around and then hop back off down by um, to go back through Maggie Valley so it just kind of makes a big loop going that direction so it works out good and man what a beautiful drive it is awesome So the campground we're staying at is Pride RV Resort and uh, you know not a lot of options for us in this area um, it was kind of last minute once we decided that we wanted to head over here and try to hit Catalucci Valley you know we knew we'd have to have somewhere to stay so we did a little bit of research um, this one had some great recommendations so we called them up and originally they only had uh, one spot for a Friday night, and then we would have to move and go into another spot on Saturday night uh, when we arrived Luckily the person who was supposed to be coming into our site on Saturday night canceled So they gave us uh, the same site for both nights for Friday and Saturday, so we didn't have to move which was awesome um, It's a pretty big resort 
but we'll go ahead and pull in here and uh, give you guys a look at it. Check in was super easy. I mean, as you can see, it's not, you know, nothing super fancy. It's pretty much your basic RV resort with your different rows. And uh, they got them in here, packed in here pretty snug. But they were super friendly at check-in. Like I said, they went, you know, they, they double-checked for us to make sure that that person that was coming in our site canceled. That way we could stay in our site and not have to move. So we were very excited about that. Um, not going to do a whole, the whole full tour because it pretty much looks the same on every single row. Um, this is, you know, like I said, it's a pretty much your, you know, what you expect with a with an RV resort. Um, there is a row all the way over on the end that is across from the stream, little stream that runs along the backside, but not a bad place at all. So price-wise, we paid fifty dollars a night to stay here, uh, which is a little more than we will typically spend to stay someplace but again options are extremely limited in this area uh, if you come during their off time or off season they're a passport america member so you can get half off that now if you can get into this area for half off for around 25 a night man that's a that's a deal that's a deal for sure yeah. so we've enjoyed it you know we've we've thoroughly enjoyed being in this area uh, Blue Ridge Parkway was awesome. Catalucci Valley, I mean, Great. you know, I mean, we, we couldn't have gotten more lucky. Uh, rolling in there last night, seeing those elk right away when it wasn't super packed out with people. And then this morning, again, seeing, you know, getting to see those elk out in the field and uh, just being able to sit there without being rushed, without uh, a million cars trying to squeeze past and you know just um being able to kind of just hang out there take it in observe those animals out there was awesome so that's gonna wrap up our time over here in maggie valley slash Calucci valley appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you guys down the road